2021, that's how many people died in Texas over a five-year period when cars crashed into buildings. But how do you prevent these crashes? Many stores use barriers like planter boxes or pipes, known as bollards. As, defend, as the Defenders' Garrett Berger reports, until a new standard now being tested at Texas A&M's Transportation Institute, there wasn't a way to make sure those bollards actually worked. This car won't ever barrel towards you through a storefront window, but it can help ensure no other car will. Sometimes a driver hits the wrong pedal. Other times they're impaired. Whatever the reason, they crash through a building. Ultimately, when you're sitting on the other side of a wall, you don't even know it's coming. An estimated 60 cars hit commercial buildings around the country every day. The crashes injure up to 4,000 and kill up to 500 people every year. The damage is everything from a couple of cracked window panes to, to uh, fatal accidents with, with tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage. In Houston, a 74-year-old drove an SUV into an HEB killing a young mother. As I managed to break the car, started you know, going faster and it just backed on up in the store. The victim's family named HEB in a lawsuit over the crash. They claimed the bollards by the entrance were, quote, deficiently built, poorly maintained, poorly designed, and or improperly installed. In court documents, HEB denies the claims. Strong bollards or other barriers can stop cars from hitting buildings or customers, but there are no national or state requirements to put them up in front of stores. There is a new manufacturing standard to determine if barriers are strong enough to take the hit. Right now, any local welding shop and any pipe supplier can sell products, and there's absolutely no standards whatsoever. Until this, the first product test of the new standards at the Texas A&M Transportation Institute. If these bollards pass, they can guarantee that it will stop that vehicle. Okay, Matt, we're good. At 10 miles per hour, three successes. After a quick reset, 30 miles per hour. So this bollard did go past the one foot mark, but it didn't come out. So that means anybody behind it, still safe and still alive. For the defenders, Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Rob Ryder of the Storefront Safety Council believes now that there are standards for what makes an acceptable barrier, ordinances, codes, and laws requiring them in front of stores will soon follow.